happy morning to everyone welcome to my channel biotech info and today we are going to discuss about the important mcqs in biology section from the chapter human physiology if you want to know what are those which are very crucial you have to subscribe my channel click the bell button like and share So let us get into the most expected from the human physiology chapter. The first one is in the event of the kidney failure, the process used to remove the nitrogenous waste stage is the first option is dialysis, second is osmosis, C is diffusion and D is plasmolysis. Plasmolysis, the plant cell is going to lose the water when it is going to be placed in a hypertonic solution. Coming to the point of diffusion, it's a movement of the molecule from a higher concentration to the lower concentration. Coming to the point of osmosis, it's a movement of the molecule from the lower concentration to the higher concentration, but it has to be passed. It is tended to pass to the semi-permeable membrane. What is a dialysis? It's a process of removal of the excess amount of the water, toxic substances from the body by emission and also if the kidneys are not working properly in the people, then the answer is dialysis. Coming to the second question, the waste materials in the plants are stored in the form of the options are water, gums and resins, minerals and sugar. What is a sugar? Sugar we know it is a disaccharide consisting of two monosaccharides that is a glucose as well as in fructose. So that is not the option. Minerals we know that so many minerals are present elements like 17 elements are important for the plant to grow like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, chlorine etc. And next one comes is a water. It is an essential molecule that is required for the plant growth. So next one is a gums and resins. These are the products waste materials which are going to be stored and they are going to be collected by tapping or cutting etc from the trees so the option is that you have to take yes gums and resins one thing you have to remember always if you are for a suppose third one is there conversion of ammonia to urea is done by ornithine cycle agrinine cycle or fumaric cycle citrulline cycle if you have a confusion you are not getting the answer then what i told you mark and move just mark it with the pencil that i have to attempt this question and also one more thing you have to remember for every mcqs you have to give a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 15 seconds to solve this one and then do the elimination and trigger the answer and you have to move to the next question fourth one comes as a concentration of the urine depends upon which organ Bowman's capsule or length of the Henley's loop or PCT and network of the capillaries arising from the glomerulus we know that the Bowman's capsule you know it so it is not the a correct option and next one network of the capillaries arising from the glomerulus which is present in the Bowman's capsule sorry it is also the wrong answer and PCT proximal culminated tubule is a wrong answer then the length of the handless loop is a correct answer coming to the next question a condition of a failure of a kidney to form urine is called anuria deamination uremia none of this what is a deamination it is a removal of an amino group from an amino acid or from the other compounds what is this uremia then uremia because of the failure in the functions of the kidney some x as what you can say there is an obstruction uh, like a kidney stones or the tumors because of that one this is also not a correct option and d option is none of this is there anuria means water high levels of the water pressure in the blood so this is the correct answer and next one the basic functional unit of a human kidney is nephridia or henley's loop or nephron or a pyramid pyramid is totally different from this question and next one is in uh, nephron it is a unit of a kidney we know generally because you have studied in the 9th 10th and 11th and 12th standard coming to the point of seventh question in urotelic animals urea is formed by what options they have given is krebs cycle emp pathway ornithine cycle and core cycle we know generally that core cycle it's going to produce the lactate uh, after the anaerobic glycolysis next one coming to the point, uh, point of b option emp pathway emden mayer or paranus pathway here we are going to see that atp and nadp is going to form and krebs cycle you can see that carbon dioxide and water are the products that are going to be so the answer for this is it is going to remove the carbon dioxide and ammonia from the bread in the liver so ornithine cycle is the correct option like that you have to take it 
and next one which one of the four parts mentioned below does not constitute the part of a single convoluted tubule blindly you can write it as a collecting duct Coming to the point of ninth question, glucose is taken back from the glomerular filtrate through active transport, passive transport, osmosis or diffusion. Just now we have discussed about the osmosis and diffusion, it will not be the answer. So what is an active and what is a tra uh, passive transport means in active transport, most of the biomolecules are moving from the lower concentration to the higher concentration. So energy requires there. But in a passive transport, what happens? Energy is not required because biomolecules are going to move from the high to low. So the answer will be the active transport. Next comes a decrease in the blood pressure volume will not cause the release of atrial natriuretic factor, aldosterone, ADH or renin. Coming to the point of renin, what is this? It is an enzyme secreted by the kidneys when they are uh, when the it is in the hypertension or hypernatremia. What is an aldosterone? It's an hormone produced by the adrenal cortex in the kidneys. Then next one comes is what ANF. What is this ANF means? Atrial natriuretic factor, and it is consisting of 28 amino acids, and it is made up of a polypeptide and the hormone secreted mainly by the art atria and it is responsible for the atrial stretch and then coming to the point of what is this adh it is an anti juratic hormone or we are going to call it as an agrinine vasopressin uh, yeah, which is going to be situated in the hypothalamus next comes is what so we have to take the answer that is the a option is the correct one what is the volume of a blood drained by heart in one ventricular stroke what is the options they have given 1 ml 800 ml 500 ml and 80 ml these questions we are getting from the like previous questions so the answer is 80 ml next one the hormone which regulates the basal metabolism in our body is secreted from what adrenal cortex pancreas pituitary gland or thyroid we know that answer adrenal cortex will not be pancreas no pituitary no answer is thyroid Next one, the blood group which the antibody A and antibody B is which blood group? It's an O or B or A or AB. The answer is O and it is going to be antibody uh, A, it is going to be present uh, in the RPC and antibody B, it is going to be present in the plasma. The next one, receptor sites for the neurotransmitters are present on pre-symphatic membrane or the tips of the axons or the post-symphatic membrane or the membranes of the symphatic vesicle answer will be the c next one destruction of the anterior horn cells of the spinal cord would result in the loss of commercial impulses integrated impulses sensory impulses or voluntary motor impulses the answer is voluntary motor impulses next one in vertebrates lactates are found in the esophagus ear elum or ischium the answer is elum and these all you have to attempt 45 mcqs of the previous one as well as the present one we said you that mcqs you have to be thorough and also uh, you have to take a minimum of 10 seconds or maximum of 15 seconds you have to complete it and next i have said you that one question i have marked and more i said you what is that conversion of the ammonia to urea is done by which one the answer is ornithine cycle thank you